What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ellie Roots. And, and together, together we are Rally Roots. Careful. Careful. <laughs> New tie. So welcome back to another episode of What Sold Last Week on Whistle eBay. Wah. Whistle Whoa. Whistle Whoa. Whistle Whoa. <laughs> Sorry that we missed last week, guys. We are, what we're gonna do on this episode is combine the last two weeks of sales into one video. So Ooh. this video is going to be 50 items. You know whose fault that is? United's. <laughs> yes, that's right, that's right. That's United right. Airlines, you can thank United Airlines for that, but we're back. We're back. We're back home. We're gonna be making more videos, guys. Um, if you're brand new to our channel, we do this series every single week where we show you some of our sales on eBay from the previous week. So like I said, this will be two weeks combined, 50 sales. There's a lot of really, really good clothing and shoes brands in this week's episode. So I hope that you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, just give it a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's get going. Tommy for your mommy. Tommy for your mommy. Yeah, you don't get to start that. Right, I'm gonna start. start that. Long sleeve striped vintage 90s. 90s. We call that vintage. Yes, people, we do call that vintage because that's how people search for it. Yeah. So we're jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> this item, we sold it for $18. Yep. Oh, and by the way, guys, we're not gonna do what we paid for the items this week just because there's 50 and that would be like, an hour long video. We don't we don't want to do that. We're going to try to go through these as fast as we possibly can for you guys. Most of the stuff we paid less than $5 for. Some of the shoes we paid like up to $10 for, but most items that you guys are going to see on this video, we paid less than $5 for. So keep that in mind when we're showing you how much they sold for. And about every single item that we're going to show in this video, we've purchased at garage sales and thrift stores Correct. and they have been shown in hauls and we have said how much they yeah. we paid for them. Yeah. So I mean, if you don't remember, we don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was item number one, the Tommy for your mommy. Item number two, Affliction has still been selling very well for us. This is just a regular Affliction t-shirt. We sold it for $19.50. This polo Ralph Lauren shirt, it was amazing, like EUC guys all the way, phenomenal. Cool. The colors were out there. Sold it for $25 because that graphic is amazing. Some Lululemon. For, for your, your melon. melon. <laughs> Allison found this pair of Lululemon shorts at a thrift store and we sold them for 40 bucks. Yeah, found them at Salvation Army. We yep. actually ran into another thrifter there, one of our friends, and he was jealous. <laughs> These Ugg men's brown loafers sold for $34. Nice. Whoa. Garage sale find here. We actually found two of these same bags in the same day. This one took a little bit longer to sell, but we got $97.77 for it. And I think I remember we paid Five dollars for that item. This Burberry polo, it's like burgundy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, burgundy, Burberry. Burberry, oh. burgundy. Thirty-nine seventy-seven. Ron Flasking. Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? How much did it sell for? Thirty-nine dollars. Ron Burgundy. Seventy-seven cents. <laughs> you like that guy? Just give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Sold this Odyssey Backstrike Golf Putter. It's a good time to sell golf stuff right now because the Masters and everything was going on. Mm -hmm. This one sold for full price, $119. Another garage sale pickup there. This is a J. Crew Italian cashmere sweater. Oh, mm -hmm. Neiman Marcus. Oh, <laughs> where do you shop? Neiman Marcus. <laughs> sold for $37.77. <laughs> Inside jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is a cool item because it's not branded Harley Davidson. So it's not an actual Harley Davidson vest. It's just a vintage leather vest that someone put patches on. So it did have a nice Harley Davidson patch on it, but it wasn't Harley Davidson brand. And even with it not being Harley Davidson brand, we still got $50 for it. So vintage leather yeah. vest with vintage patches on them do sell well for us. Shame on me for hesitating to buy this. Yeah, I bought this one. Yeah, because the lady wanted a this guy. How much did she want for it? I think it? we paid 10 bucks for it. Yeah, and I was worried, but worth it. You gotta learn to trust me. I always trust you. <laughs> Christian Dior. Oh, Dior. 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 Grey Poupon. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sorry. this video. This is um, brown leather belt and it sold for $37. I had to double check. Sorry guys, 
Don't my look eyes that are way. Looking down. Look it's at the camera. Because cameras. I'm double checking to make sure I'm saying the right <laughs> price. Hey, by the way, guys, do you like our Dragon Ball Z paintings? We've never shot this way before. It's in the same room. Usually we shoot that way, but now we're shooting this way. So now everyone can see what's in front of us whenever that's behind us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sold this regular Masters Golf Polo. This sold for $18, took a best offer on it. It was listed for $24.77. Took a quick $18 offer, get it out the door. You don't want to say that S word? Slazinger? Slazinger? Slazinger. A pair of true religion straight leg jeans sold for $35. Nice. Don't confuse true religion and lucky. Lucky doesn't usually have a good resale for us, but true religion don't usually pass that up, guys. Always just buy it. I did a horseshoe. Yeah. It's got a horseshoe on it. Yeah. Some Tommy Bahama. For your mama. <laughs> this one we actually got full price for. We got $21.77 for it. I think mm. mainly because it did have a nice little embroidery down the side of it. So the embroidered ones we do tend to get over $20 for. Mm -hmm. Good sale. And also because it was a 2XL. Oh, it was that a two XL. That makes a big difference, guy, in the pricing. Good guy. Guys. Good point. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gents, shall we continue? Let's. <laughs> this was such a really cool find. Cinco de Mayo Biloxi shirt. Sold grand for... Biloxi. Grand, Grand Biloxi. Sorry, Grand. 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 <laughs> it sold for twenty-two dollars, and we are happy to take it because you know, twenty-two dollars. Yeah. That's a noise. Sold a knife. Seven inch knife. That's annoying. We got a huge lot of knives not a long time ago. Uh, we're just getting around to listing them now. We got like over, I think they were over like a hundred knives. So they're just starting to sell for us now. This one sold for $33.44. When did Callie start taking pictures of those? Cause all of a sudden knives started selling. I think I took pictures of those like a long time ago and then just started listing them. So when stuff lists it, it's <laughs> when you list stuff, it sells. Funny enough how that works. Abundance pile. An EUC Thomas Mason J Crew sold for $20. Kind of looks like a picnic blanket. What does EUC stand for? Excellent used condition. You're excellent used condition. <laughs> oh. Actually, I don't know if that. Basically, these are not the Uggs, everyone. Yeah, but they are Cole Han. Han. They sold for $40 and they're just a nice brown leather loafer but they did have the Nike Air soles. So that makes them worth more money. Pretty sure I polished these before Callie took pictures. You did, the picture looks really nice. Good job. It looks super good in yeah. the picture. Good job, Callie. For taking well. the excellent pictures. Yes. How do I say it? Say the whole name. I'm gonna say Vintage Gerbo because okay. I can say that part of it and it <laughs> sold for $23. The other part of that name, I cannot I can't say. either, I'm not even gonna attempt it. But this is actually just a testament to how good this brand is, guys, because I actually bought this shirt thinking it was in good, good condition. And you know how it is when you get it home and you get it in good light and you find little spots and stains. <gasps> this one had little spots and stains all over it and it still sold for $23. Mm -hmm. So I think in good condition, we could have got the $30 that we were asking for on this shirt. This was a really good find. It's actually one of the first times I've found a vented Under Armour like yeah. fishing shirt. It was almost like finding one of those Columbia a PFG ones, but it was Under Armour and it was intriguing. So I bought it. I found it at a thrift store and it ended up selling for full price. And guys, this is a 2XL. So that's a testament to the 2XLs being an excellent yeah. size. I feel like that's probably a more common size mm -hmm. and it's a really amazing size to sell. So maybe if you're a bit more hesitant on an item and you're not too sure if it's going to sell, if it's a 2XL and you see comps that are maybe in the $18 range and you're looking for maybe $25 range, right. try it. Yeah, 2XLs definitely sell better and for more money for us than just regular XLs. So I don't think I said the sold price. This one sold for $33.77. Really good sale on that Under Armour. You're $33.77. <laughs> <laughs> I found so many Wranglers. You did? Wait, no. I'm thinking about the Rockies found. I think you still found like three or four pairs of these too. I found Wranglers as well, vintage yeah. Wranglers, and they're tiny. They're, oh no, you're right, 26 is mm -hmm. so small, guys. 
These sold for $29.77. Nice. Really happy about that because they're 26s and it's a super tiny brand, but I'm thinking maybe tweens are after this probably uh, because you know, the high waisted is in. So guys, throwbacks. Little hipster girls. Little hipster girls. Thank you for <laughs> buying our stuff, little hipster girls. <laughs> Really nice pair of Sperry's here. I had seen this style before, but never this color. The color was really nice. Found them at a garage sale and they sold for us for, I believe, full price. Yeah, they sold for full yeah. price, $44.77. So if you see the perforated leather Sperry's, you should be able to get good money for them. I was surprised. Yeah, me too, actually, well. a little bit. Yeah. yeah, this was a surprising sale. It was a nice sale. Yeah, like a birthday cake. <laughs> Surprise. This was one of those really unique interesting finds. Mm. It was a vintage army military sweater. And what's really cool about it is it sold for $38. Yeah. And I was really happy because it was just a weird, awkward thing, but we know vintage military stuff sells. Right. It wasn't very expensive. And that's a really good sale price, guys, right? I actually thought it was World War II. I was corrected by you guys, so thank you so much for that. Um, I thought it was gonna sell for like $80. I think the World War II ones do, do sell for around that. Uh, but we still got 38 bucks for it. We didn't pay very much money for it and it was still a good sale. And I didn't list it wrong, thanks to our wonderful reseller community out there. Thanks, yeah, guys. you guys are helpful. Yeah, I would pray, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> cool sale here. I believe we paid like a dollar for this Honeymooners shirt and we sold it for 18 bucks. Yeah, you're just breezing through the t-shirt section, looking yep. for t-shirt experiment items, you know, to add money to the bottom line. We found that, yeah. so $18 for a dollar. Harley Davidson women's small shirt for $10. Nice. Sold this pair of men's Skechers Shape Up shoes. We sold them for $44.50. A long sleeve Arctrix hiking shirt. Nice. Sold it for $34.50. Compliments on the name saying Arcturex. Colorado horses. That's a tough one to say. <laughs> Kentucky chickens. All right, now I gotta get my name skills. Say it. I think it's Onitsuka. Onitsuka? Onis I'm really impressed that sounded right. I think that's right, it's Asics. They're Asics Onitsuka Tiger shoes. <laughs> These ones weren't in very good condition and they still sold for $30 for us. So I'm happy with that sale. And I'm surprised by that sale. Yeah. A Tommy Bahama for your mama. Sold for $18. Nice. We sold a pair of Miss Me jeans for $24. And then literally like five minutes later, sold another pair of Miss Me jeans to a different buyer. Whoa which is these ones for $20. How does that happen? So weird. It was so strange. Like we, those are the only two pairs of Miss Me uh, jean shorts that we had listed. And they sold like one after another to different buyers. No idea. Miss Me Wars. <laughs> A Vineyard Vines whale shirt, long sleeve, sold for $25. Great brand to sell. Love getting Vineyard Vines stuff. Sold a printer. We are not afraid of selling larger items because we know how to ship them. So we sold this printer and it was used too. So a used Epson Workforce, yeah. Epson Workforce 520 printer sold for $89.77. I love vintage windbreakers. So cool. So amazing. And this vintage feel windbreaker sold for $42. So yeah. apparently, so does somebody else. It's so cool. I really wanted to keep this one, but Allison wouldn't let me. <laughs> I'm just Literally kidding. lies. <laughs> Sold this Patagonia Better sweater for $45. Even took a best offer on it. It would have actually sold for more money, but it did have a company's embroidery on the sleeve. Boo. Which is okay though, because we still <laughs> sold it. We, we still got $45 for it and we only paid 10 bucks for it at a thrift store. Boo. So. <laughs> Got a bunch of Bally's men loafers at a garage sale mm. and sold this pair for $67.77. That's a good sale. I had to double check because I thought that I said the price wrong, but I said it right, guys. $67.77. Together, we, <laughs> we are really <laughs> We sold a couple of these crazy pattern vintage shirts in the past couple weeks. This one was my favorite. This is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, crazy pattern. It sold for full price. It sold for $34.77. And I think there were like seven watchers on it when it sold. So Ooh, pretty high in demand item. Mm -hmm. If you see something like that, snag it up because they're selling excellent right now. 
And again, size 2XL, guys. True. See a pattern? True. Yeah. Right? I'm seeing a pattern. Good point. Yeah. This is one of those Disney Princess Run jackets, and it's champion brand, so yep. it's a branded item. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really sure about it, and I'm glad Ryan was like, no, let's get it. People will pay money for it. And we sold it for $40, so that was like a really great oh, yeah. flip that I wasn't sure about. But again, taking chances, guys, sometimes it really pays off. It sold for $40 to someone in Florida. Floor, Florida? Florida? I don't do know guys... where Florida is, I but say... I live in Florida. Florida. All right. You go, go shopping it's at Neiman It's not a Florida lee. It's a Florida lee. Florida. <laughs> I also really, really liked this red spell out polo sport Ralph Lauren crew neck sweater. Allison actually found this one. I think we only paid like $4 for it. She found it at a Goodwill. Um, she was looking it over and it did have like marks and stains on it. So I think you were second guessing yourself on this I'm one so too. so worried. Yeah. But I was like, let's just get it. That's a very popular item right now. And it ended up selling for full price for $37.77, which is amazing. Whoa. Really cool. It kind of matches the other shirt that we sold. And I wish that that person bought them both. Right. You know, I kind of like yeah. want to dress people. Yes. <laughs> These Cole Haan Nike Airs were so interesting. I could not find a comp. And then Ryan was smart enough to say, yeah, let's get it yet again, guys. See, I'm always hesitating. And Ryan's like, woo, take the chance. Props chances. to Ryan. Props to Ryan. Look at me giving you all these props. So I deserve they it. sold for $78.88, which I'm pretty sure, yep, that is full asking price. Nice. Really awesome sale. And I am glad that we bought them. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Another crazy pattern here. This one's not as good of a brand as Polo Ralph Lauren. It's Nautica, but the mm -hmm. pattern is still very, very cool. High in demand item sold for full price, sold for $23.77. Happy with that. So there you go, listing at the right price. Yeah. This Harley Davidson long sleeve shirt sold for $29.77, nice. which is really awesome, full asking. And that one I washed multiple times because there were spots on it. So it was worth it. Wash your stuff. Well. You know. <laughs> so probably one of my personal favorite Tommy Hilfiger finds in a while, only because horizontal stripes are crazy in right now. Like if it's a good brand and if it's horizontal stripes, this stuff flies off the shelves for us. So this one sold for $29.77. It sold very quickly and that was full asking price on it. It's literally just a Tommy Hilfiger. I think it's Tommy Jeans. It was either Tommy Hilfiger or Tommy Jeans, but a very simple horizontal striped shirt with a little box logo on it. 30 bucks paid a dollar. So now somebody out there looks like a giant bumblebee. <laughs> Maybe it sold to, uh, to, uh, what's his name? <laughs> to Ken. Oh my gosh. What's his name? Hustle B? Hustle, Hustle B. B. Did you buy that, Hustle B? <laughs> I can buy this. This tie-dye vintage Harley tank top, so amazing. Yeah. I kind of wish Ryan had kept it, but it sold for $20. So we'll take the 20 bucks and just buy a different tank top. I see I like a, I see like a big burly, like biker dude with a big beard and like tattoos all down. I'm just like in this tie dye thing on his Harley. Yeah. Riding for kids. You know, they ride to like raise yeah. money to save children from cancer. Right. So like that's who I see. Beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's who I see. So it went to that guy. That guy. Yeah. Well, that guy seems pretty cool. He does. Sold this Cardinals jersey for $49 and 88 cents. It's Albert Pujols, I believe. Pooh holes. You're looking at the wrong <laughs> person. Um, anyway, we actually got really good money for this jersey, so almost 50 bucks for it. Happy with that. You're almost 50 bucks. Damn. <laughs> this was a limited edition Harley Davidson knife, and we sold it for 70 bucks. It even came Very in cool. its own fancy case. Very cool. Digging it. Actually, really liked all the knives, and I, I like to play with them all the time. We so. may have kept a lot of them. We may have lost a lot of them. <laughs> Very simple G-Star raw denim shirt. It sold for $17 for us. Can't complain. But we were in for a dollar. I think so. Yeah. A Ralph Lauren denim shirt. Really liked it, long sleeve, and it sold for $24. Which is pretty high for that item, I think. It's crazy. Yeah, it was, and it wasn't like a huge size or anything. It was just a regular size large. So I'm pretty sure we got all the money for that one, which is exciting. Yeah, so more interesting, unique Ralph Lauren 
style shirts that yeah. they're selling higher than they used to. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because I feel like the prices went down so low, a lot of people just stopped buying them. Those vintage brands are like in super demand right now. The true vintage stuff, because they're remaking a lot of these items now. So, <coughs> whoa, bless you. Oh, I sneezed on my tattoo. <laughs> you gross. Oh my God, I need to go wash it. We're almost done. Can okay. We yeah. <laughs> All right, just two more things, guys. Just two more things. I don't know if you remember, but we picked up those Z coil women's shoes. I told so you guys, I <laughs> no, they're for like a, like people with pain in their No, hip. I know, they're just ugly shoes. They, they actually, I when I was doing research on them, it looks like they make them now where they enclose them. So they mm -hmm. look like regular shoes, just hot, like almost like a platform shoes. So they do look better now. Um, but they sell really, really well for us. We've sold them in the past many times. This particular pair we got $70 for, so if it's weird, it sells. Yeah, I kind of wanted to wear them and bounce around like Tigger. <laughs> Tigger's a wonderful thing. I bounce, you bounce, you bounce, you bounce. Fun, know, fun, know, fun. The wonderful thing about Tigger's is I'm the only one. Yeah, something That's like about that. about how far I, go. I know. Vintage Adidas Windbreaker, $37.77. Again, nice, yeah. vintage windbreakers. Thumbs up, full, right? Full price on that one. Vintage windbreakers are doing really well for us, so. Yeah, and there you go guys. There's 50 things. I hope that you've been able to pick up like a lot of good bolos for mm -hmm. items that while you're out there, maybe now there'll be brands that you weren't looking at before and you'll see them and you'll know to buy them now, so. And if someone doesn't know what bolo means, it means be on the lookout. Correct. Points for Ali. Woo! Bing! One Ali. <laughs> if you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. We do these videos every week. And we love making them for you guys because we sincerely want to help you. Hopefully you've picked up some things that will give you some success and help you make some more money in the future because that's why we do this. That's definitely why I do this. So thanks again, guys. We will see you next time. I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ali Roots. And together, together we, we are, are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. I think your knuckle cracked. Felt awesome. See you guys later. Peace. And chicken Ow. grease. Bye.